Having at least learned something as to the nature of a kiss, let us seek information on how to kiss. There are various general directions. The gentleman must be taller than the lady he intends to kiss. Take her right hand in yours and draw her gently to you. Pass your left hand over her right shoulder, diagonally down across her back, under her left arm. Press her to your bosom, at the same time she will throw her head back, and you have nothing to do but lean a little forward and press your lips to hers, and then the thing is done. Don't make a noise over it, as if you were firing off shooting crackers, or pounce upon it like a hungry hawk upon an innocent dove, but gently fold the damsel in your arms without smashing her standing collar or spoiling her curls, and by a sweet pressure upon her mouth, revel in the blissfulness of your situation, without smacking your lips on it as if you would over a glass of beer. It might be well at the conclusion of the operation to ask the young woman if it was satisfactory, for we are never satisfied that a lady understands a kiss unless we have it from her own mouth. A Kentucky authority insists that a man must be in humour for the business. You want to get the idea into your head that the girl is just dying to be kissed by you and is only waiting for you to make the break. Then you want to take a good view of her mouth and see just how much of it you can take in. If she has a regular rosebud mouth, why, take it all in and throw your whole soul into one kiss. But if her mouth has the appearance of a landscape, cut in two by a waterless river, then the safest plan is to take in the corners and byways, and sort of divide your kiss into sections. Most girls have no end of cheek, therefore a fellow can seldom miss fire in kissing a girl on the cheek. Do not kiss her ear, as nine cases out of ten the girl will make a slight dodge, so as to impress you with the idea that you are really surprising her in your action. The result is you miss the ear, kiss her hair, and get your mouth full of ten-cent hair oil. Only actors kiss on the brow. If a girl has a pretty mouth, kiss it every time, but if her mouth is so large that you endanger your life by getting too near it, then resort to the next best thing and kiss her on the cheek. We repeat. To kiss a woman properly, the size of her mouth must be carefully gorged before proceeding to the work. Large mouth put a man to the severest test. He will be driven to his wit's end, whether to begin at one corner and conclude on the other, or to make a heroic dash at the middle and endeavour to reach both corners. The heroic dash is considered by students in the art of kissing to be the best, for it takes the least amount of time, and allowance should always be made for the struggle to get away from the kisser which, albeit only a mock effort, might inadvertently prove successful. Delicately formed mouths, with rounded lips and of velvety colour, are the easiest to kiss, and most submissive. You must never kiss a young girl if she doesn't want you to. The main ingredient that makes kissing endurable is a willingness on the part of the female. If it deepens into anxiety, so much the better. When a girl claws a man's hair and scratches his face like a little fool, drop her at once. As long as the girl doesn't claw and yell and struggle like a panther, it is perfectly safe to continue prospecting. If you are just beginning to teach a shy girl, who has only been kissed heretofore by her brothers and father, touch your lips gently to her forehead. She will take this as an exhibition of profound respect. That position gained, working the way down to the lips, is as natural and easy as the course of a log sliding down the wood flume of a lumber company. A popular comic song with the imperative title of Soccer on the Kisser states that when a man falls in love with a little turtle dove, he will linger all around her underjaw, and goes on, in a chorus, to give directions to it. If you want to kiss her neatly, very sweetly and completely, if you want to kiss her so's to kiss her nice, when you get a chance to kiss her, make a dodge or two and miss her, then suck her on the kisser once or twice. That rhyme will do for the gallery gods. Those in the orchestra seats will appreciate the following. The cutest trick in a kiss that's quick is to put it where it belongs, to see that it goes below the nose and knocks at the gate of songs. A kiss that is cold may do for the old, or pass with an air relation. But one like that is a work, that's flat, of supererogation. If you're going to kiss, be sure of this, that a girl has some heart in her. I wouldn't give a darn for the full of a barn of kisses without a partner. The point of this rhyme is to take your time, kiss slowly and do it neatly. If you do the thing right and are halfway bright, you can win her sweetheart completely. <laughs>